Hello, my name is Jay and welcome to my YouTube video. In this video, I want to show you how to import the AdventureWorks database file. The AdventureWorks database is a simple database provided by Microsoft that comes with uh, Microsoft SQL Server. If a new SQL Server user who don't have any data or database to work with, the AdventureWorks database provides a really good simple database for you to uh, get your hand on to see what you can do with Microsoft SQL Server. Especially you just start using SQL Server and or you want to learn SQL Server and this will be a great way for you to get started. So let's go ahead and uh, go to each step how you can import the database. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the GitHub depository page and to download the AdventureWorks uh, database file. And I'll post this link in my video description below so you can just go directly to the link and download the file from there. And once you get to this page, so you want to scroll down. So depending on your SQL Server version, for me I have the Microsoft SQL Server 2017. And so on the asset, you want to look for 2017. For SQL Server 2016, you have two different uh, database files. You have the just the regular uh, AdventureWorks uh, database file. You also have the AdventureWorks underscore x10, which is the ext file that has uh, additional functionality that you can try uh, on SQL Server 2016 because SQL Server 2016 has some additional new functionality and. I believe that this is the uh, database that comes with those additional uh, features. But if this is your first time, then I would highly recommend that you download the regular file. So let's go ahead and uh, download the file. So for me, it's the 2017 version. So I'm going to download the AdventureWorks 2017.bak file. The BAK file basically is a database backup file that allows SQL Server to restore your database. And so I'm going to go ahead and download this file and save this file and somewhere to your uh, local drive. Since I already downloaded the file, and I can, I'm just going to take, take this file. And this is the first thing you want to do. You want to copy this file and save into your SQL Server folder. So um, mine will be um, on Windows, um, Windows 10. And you want to go to programs, program files and look for Microsoft SQL Server folder and right here. And I have uh, both Express and the standard SQL Server installed. So you want to choose uh, whichever you install on your PC. And go, go into the folder and go down one more level again. Under the MS SQL folder, you should see a uh, backup folder. And you want to copy the file just download and put in here, put in the uh, backup folder. Now that's done, and we want to launch SQL Server Management Studio. And connect to your database. And once you are uh, inside your uh, SQL Server, you want to click on database and right click your mouse and you want to select restore database and go to general and from the uh, source session you want to choose device and click on this uh, dot 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 uh, icon and you want to back out the media file and you want to add now the reason why I ask you to copy the database file to the backup drive because if you save to your download folder, unfortunately, uh, you can't access the download folder from the, the directory window on the left hand side. And that's why I ask you to save the BAK file, which is the database file, in the backup folder. Now go to the backup folder. And you should see the AdventureWorks uh, .bak file, and select the file, and click on OK. 
and click on OK again. Once that window is closed, you should see that uh, SQL Server recognized the database file and expand this window a little bit more. And is this play? You know, is this the database you want to restore? And choose the database. Make sure the restore uh, is checked and click on OK. And once the database has been imported, you should get this message: database adventure works restore successfully. And click on OK. Now, if you click on the databases and refresh the folder, and refresh and expand the folder, and you should see the adventure works database uh, showing up. And let me expand this a little bit more. See so what we have. So from the AdventureWorks database, we'll get actually pretty, uh, pretty good number of tables that with different schemas. We have the sales table and purchasing, production, and person, which is the personnel uh, table to store the imp import information, phone number, password, and so on. And the human resource is for HR. I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you have any questions or any comments, feel free to send me an email or leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.